Today, I will share with you a model that is not that familiar to everyone. On the market and not so mainstream, IQ7. We've talked about the mainstream models for a long time. The information of these mainstream models is relatively easy to collect and obtain. So for some models that have a certain quantum, but are not generally familiar by people in the market, because people don't know much about them, the greater to obtain the information, the greater the information gap will be, and the greater the chance for people to be deceived. Therefore, it is also very important to know the information on these non-mainstream models. This week, let's take a look at the screen of the IQ7. IQ7 is a high-end flagship machine in the IQ series, which was launched in 2021. It is worth mentioning that its original screen is made by Samsung, is a screen with 6.62 inch slash HD slash COF scheme AMOLED screen, and IQ Neo 5 model can also use this screen. Supports 120 Hz refresh rate. This original screen can be considered as a high level screen in 2021. In the mobile phone industry, those who are willing to spend a lot of money on the screen to find Samsung to open mold are basically positioned in the middle and high end models. Low end models won't spend more money to find Samsung to open mold generally. Due to the IQ7 was released last year, it is relatively new now. The customer demands for screen replacement is relatively small, but the small quantity does not mean that there is no demand as a hot flagship model of IQ. After all, it has the potential market demand, so it is very necessary to understand in advance and avoid being deceived. So how is the screen market of IQ7 today? Let's first look at the original screen types, including the brand new original screen, original refurbished screen, and OEM screen. First of all, let's look at the brand new original screen. The brand new original screen on the market basically flows out through the official channel. These screens that flown out of official channel currently, as far as Chino Tech knows, are very few, almost none. In addition, there are also some unofficial brand new original screens in the market. The market supply resource is also unstable, and the price is very expensive. Let's look at the original refurbished screen. Compared with the brand new original screen, there are larger quantity of original refurbished screen. However, this model is relative new. Broken cover plate screen recycling resource is less. Generally speaking, there are not many supplies on the market, and it is often out of stock. In addition, it is a Samsung screen. Has a certain hedging rate. At present, the grade A of this original refurbished screen is about $100. The prices are still relatively high. Finally, look at the OEM screen. The OEM screen is similar to the refurbished one, both of which are refurbished screens. But the OEM screen is refurbished to a greater extent. The so called OEM screen is to replace a screen of a broken major flex cable or a broken IC, but the glass is intact with another screen of imploded glass, but the major flex cable is intact. To make a replacement splicing, this kind of refurbished product is called OEM screen. Whether it is OEM screen or original refurbished screen, there is few stock in the market now because this model has not been sold abroad and the recycled broken screens in China is relative small. Overall speaking, IQ7 original series is currently out of stock and relatively expensive. Next, let's look at the OLED screen. Compared with the original screen with 6.62 inch, there is a small OLED screen on the market currently, which is Edo's 6.39 inch slash full HD water drop screen. The width of the chin is relatively large, and compared with the original Mesopore screen, the water drop screen window is relative disgraceful, and this 6.39 inch glass is also used for Samsung A20, A30 and other models. This OLED screen, even in a small size, is out of stock currently. It's not because this Edo 3.69 inch glass are shortage. After this OLED screen was in production, it has a small sales volume temporarily, and the sales speed is very slow. So the willingness of factories to continue producing has become lower, and upstream factories waited until the batches are almost sold out. They will consider continuing to make new batches. So in this case, sometimes this screen may be out of stock. There is also another OLED screen on the market, which is KND 6.41 inch slash full HD Mesopore screen. This OLED screen single piece can be used for IQ Neo 5. This glass is also used for Samsung A50, A70 and other models. The factories that producing this model were already 
available some hot selling OLED screen models. So, using the existing glasses and IC to produce another model of screen is nothing more than spending extra money. The profit of the non mainstream model sometimes is larger than the mainstream hot selling model. Then, this KND 6.41 inch OLED screen, in terms of size, is slightly larger than the Edo 6.39 inch. But compared to the original screen with 6.62 inch, it is also a small size, but the KND model is the same as the original Mesopore screen. The windows are better. This OLED screen is about 50 on the market. Finally, let's look at the DFD screen. Currently, Sharp 6.517 inch slash full HD Mesopore screen are mainly used to make DFD screen on the market. Can be used for IQ Neo 5. Sharp 6.517 inch glass is a very popular glass in TFD screen. This glass can be used in many models. And there are more than 20 models are using this glass. So does IQ 7. The factory have used existing materials to make this DFD screen easily. By opening a common scheme between IQ 7 and IQ Neo 5, the window of this DFD screen is larger than the OLED screen. According to the actual shipment verification of Chino, the comprehensive display effect of the Incel screen is better than the OLED screen. First of all, from the perspective of the window, the window of the DFD screen is better. Secondly, this Incel screen is the same as the original. It is also a Mesopore screen, and the resolution is also Full HD. So in general, the experience of the DFD screen is even better. The price of this Incel screen is currently about dollars To sum up, the current screens of IQ7 on the market, original screen, due to the small quantity of recycled broken cover plate screens, resulting the supply of original series screens is small. The market is relatively shortage, and the price is relatively expensive. What about OLED screens? There are few people making this Edo model currently, because it is the water drop screen. Overall comparison, the quality and appearance are relatively poor. What about the KND's glass? Although it is a Mesopore screen, it has a large chin with a small size, and the price is more than $45, which is relatively expensive. What about DFT screen? It has the display effect of the large window, the resolution of Full HD. The most important thing is that it is cheap. It only needs more than $15, which is very price performance. As a sub brand of Vivo, IQ7 is relatively high-end, but compared with the flagship and high-end brands that are emerging in an endless stream on the market currently, for most of consumers, it is more of a mid-to-low-end model. The current price of the whole machine is about $430, and the user's acceptance of the screen price is relatively weak. Therefore, among the existing screen types on the market, the DFD screen of IQ7 currently, relatively speaking, is more price performance and competitive. Follow Chino Tech. Take you to know the first-hand screen market information.